and welcome to Saving Miller. So, today we're going to do an honest product review about some levels. So I got a request to review levels. What kind of levels should I get? Well, you know if you're a homeowner, um, I've seen a lot of people and they have these little torpedo levels, which is what this is. This is a torpedo level. Well, this seems kind of cute and it seems like maybe it's appropriate if you're a homeowner I need a small level I don't need a big level like a contractor might but this is really almost useless for the typical homeowner don't get one of these it's not worth your time I don't care where you get it or what the quality is just don't get it these are useful for a couple of things so they're usually magnetic on the one side so if you're working with something that's uh, some kind of steel they're useful but that's going to be a metal post, right? So here on the homestead, I do use them to set posts. And it's got a groove on the other side to assist with that. That's what these are intended to do. These are intended to work with metal. They're not intended to hang picture frames and stuff like that. They're almost useless for that because if you have a small piece of dirt on the one side, it, you know, it's going to offset it and you're not going to get it right anyway. So if you, if you are a homeowner, don't get one of these. If you're doing some metal work, welding, etc., this is that's what these are made for, right? So let's put that back. Um, actually, if you are a homeowner and you want a, a small level that's good for picture frames and that sort of thing, this is what I would recommend: a one foot. Um, you could go with a two footer, but a one foot level with a, a nice solid, solid molded plastic frame the I-beam I style. Um, this one is pretty good. I like it a lot. It works fairly well for smaller pictures, but that's about all it's good for as well. You, it doesn't have much more capability than that. This particular one is a Stanley, and it's a pretty low cost item. I'm not sure if you can still find these at Lowe's. I think that's where I got it because I hate Home Depot, but I think actually Home Depot might still have these or something similar to it. Lowe's probably has a Cobalt one. So for most homeowners, I would actually recommend a two foot plastic I-beam style level. I've had these for quite a number of years. Actually, all of my levels are at least 10 years old. And I check them on a regular basis against each other to make sure that they're still accurate. So this one, again, is a low cost Stanley. And I believe I probably bought this one 15 years ago. And it's still good. Um, this angled one here is completely useless. You don't ever need that. If it's on a 45 degree angle, maybe. When are you going to use that? So you can forget about that. You've got this one and this one. You know, either it works or it doesn't. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It does give you a nice straight edge if you need. It's two feet long. And uh, you can use this one very effectively to hang picture frames and mirrors and things like that. So for a homeowner, I would typically recommend something like this. Um, your big box stores are all going to have these. They're going to be very low cost. And um, maybe I'll put up a link to an online store that maybe is not one of the big guys. Maybe you can get them at your local place or something like that, which is not one of the big guys. They're a franchise. It's going to be a local citizen who owns a business. So that's the extent. You know, if you're a homeowner, I would say get one of these. But if you want a level that's going to last a long time, you're going to have to get away from these I-beam style plastic levels. Even the metal ones aren't that great, and there's a couple of reasons for that. So really the next step is the box level. This is, um, once again, this is probably 15 years old, maybe a little bit older. But this is a, a style of level that contractors typically go for. So Stabila and Johnson are the two big names in the space, and they make the good stuff. Um, I was a contractor. I did a lot of doors. I did a lot of trim carpentry, interior work, and I've done some concrete work. And so I, wanted, I want levels that are going to be accurate every time. And I want them to be durable. I want them to be comfortable. And I want them to have good edges that I can keep clean. If these edges aren't clean, they're going to throw off your level. So I, I really, really like this one. This is a Johnson. I feel good about having this in my hand. Um, this one is a 24 inch. And notice it doesn't have the goofy 45 degree angle. That's, that's a gimmick. That's completely useless. I've never used, I've been doing this kind of thing for 25 years. I've never used that. It's garbage. Forget it. Like that's just, it's dumb. 
So, so never pay attention to that kind of thing. But this one, you can see it's got the two, the two bubbles here for the vertical. So you can see if something is plumb and you've got two to compare to each other. And that's important because this level will true up to itself. Now on the horizontal to see if something is level, you won't necessarily get that advantage, but it's still, um, it's a good one. And these are, these are well set in there. They are not adjustable. So keep that in mind. Um, if these levels go out of, if, the, if they're out of plumb or out of truth, they're done. Now, if, if, you're, if, you are, if you are a contractor or you know, you're a homeowner who's a little bit more serious, you're gonna need a two foot level like this and I would recommend these. I believe these are still available at Lowe's. Um, I've, I've definitely had great success. So the first Johnson that I bought was this one actually, the four footer. This is very similar to the 24 inch and I've had them about the same amount of time. And I've, I've taken pretty good care of these when I was a contractor. I kept them in a padded case so they, you know, as I'm tossing them into a truck or pulling them out or whatever, they would stay um, good and true. And these have held up really, really well. And so I would recommend, as someone who has used the Johnson level for a long time, 15 years, that's how long I've had this, this is something that I would recommend. I actually have a third Johnson and I'm not sure about the vintage of this one. I think it probably is similar to the others. I probably bought it around the same time, but this is a six foot level. And these are notoriously difficult to maintain accuracy. But sometimes if you're, if you're, if you're doing framing, you're gonna need a six foot level. And if you're a real frame carpen, uh, framing carpenter, you're gonna need something that's gonna go to eight feet. You're gonna need to be able to plumb an eight foot wall effectively. And so you may want to go to something more advanced than this. You know, if you're really looking to plumb walls, um, this works quite well for doors, for interior doors. If you want, you can watch my video about how to hang an interior door in 10 minutes. Um, I'll put a link at, to that at the end of this video. But this is what I use for many years to hang doors and cabinets. So for interior work, this works well. On the farm here, I would not use this thing outside. It, it, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't need it. Um, the four foot level and the two foot level, these Johnsons here, um, those would be effective. Now the one thing that I will have to mention about this one is it does have two bubbles for the plumb. And one of them is off. And so I actually took a marker and I blanked that out so I can't even read it. So I know that bubble is off and I don't need to use it. <laughs> and so I, I, ha I don't know why I have so many levels. I honestly don't because I haven't bought any for many years but I've got quite a few different levels. I've got a, a one footer here that I've used for masonry. I'm not real confident in this one, but it's, you know, it's close enough. Even if it's off a little bit, it's probably not gonna have a huge effect on the project overall. This one, I believe, all the markings are gone. This one is a Stanley as well. So I've got a couple of, of uh, smaller Stanleys and then the larger ones, I've got the Johnsons. That's what I've worked with for many years, and I've been very, very pleased with both of those. These are cost moderate. I think that Johnson and Stabila have higher end models that probably are higher quality than this. But if you're not using them every day, if you're not, you know, depending on them day in and day out, um, you don't want to spend two or three hundred dollars on a level. You want to have something in the twenty to fifty dollar range. And so th this is basically what I've got for levels. This is what I would recommend for most people. You know, a level that's too cheap and lets you down is no good either. So check these out. I think if you're in the market for a level and you want something that's gonna work well on your homestead, definitely start with this one. Watch out for gimmicks and lasers and weak things like that. They're not necessarily effective. This is a level that will stay true for a long time. So look, look for something that's straightforward. It's simple, tells you what it needs to tell you. And that's it. Um, all the other stuff is, is, you know, it's not gonna help you and you're paying for it anyway. These ends are rubberized and that's an important thing because if you drop this thing, you know, that's gonna help to protect these. So those are my thoughts. Honest product reviews on levels. So let me know what you think. Maybe you know of a better level somewhere else that's a, a good, good product, I don't know. But let me know 
And until next time, saving Miller out.